All right, now we're looking at the BC Calculus 2023 FRQ number five. And as I've stated before, I do not have the solutions. They're not released yet. So if they're, these are my best guess at a solutions. If uh, I have any corrections, I will put them in a pinned comment. Graphs of the functions are given by this. The twice differentiable function is not explicitly given, satisfies f of 3 equals 2, and this is true. Find the area of the shaded region enclosed by graphs of f of x. Okay, so for a, we're going to do the integral from here to here, and, and let's see, did they say they intersect? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, at, at 3 it's 2, and at 3 it's also 2. So that intersects there, so that, that makes sense. You're going to go from 0 to 3, do top of the function minus the bottom of the function, which is f of x minus g of x dx. Okay, so then that's going to be the integral 0 to 3. We just split it up, and f of x dx minus the integral from 0 to 3 of g of x, which is 12 plus 3 plus x dx. This one here, they already told us that integral is 10, so that area is 10 right there. And then this thing minus, this is going to be natural log, absolute value of 3 plus x from 0 to 3. And uh, we'll put a 12 in front there because that 12 pops out. And so you ch I just like to confirm the derivative of that's 1 over 3 plus x times the 12. So that would get me that. And so this is going to be 10 minus 12 times, and I'm going to just plug in 3 and 0, be ln of 6 minus ln of 3. And you can just honestly leave it like that. If you want to be extra picky, ln of 6 minus ln of 3 is ln of 2 because 6 divided by 3 is 2. So you could make that 10 minus 12 ln of 2 if you wanted to be tricky. But honestly, I would... I think they encourage you to just leave it like that instead of trying to simplify. Evaluate the improper integral or show that the integral diverges. So notation, improper integral notation, super key. They're probably going to dock you for points. You have to write this as c goes to infinity from 0 to infinity of this thing squared. 12 over 3 plus x quantity squared dx. Oh, not, not the infinity, put the c right there. So you want to say it, c goes to infinity there. Now, a couple things. You got to, every time you do this, you are going to have to write that limit notation. Or you need to like do a side thing over here. Just don't say it's equal and include, not include the limit notation. They will be picky about that. Some of your teachers are probably really picky about that. So let's square this thing. Let's bring the square out. So it's going to be 144 integral from 0 to c. And this is going to be 3 plus x to the negative 2 dx. Now you can do a u substitution, but honestly, it's going to be really simple. So you can use that u or du. So I'm going to write the limit as c goes to infinity of 144. We're just going to do power rule. It's 3 plus x to the negative 1 over negative 1. And that's because when I take the derivative, there's no chain rule. Nothing pops out, right, or times 1. And um, we're going to go here from 0 to c. So let me just kind of, I didn't organize my space very well. My bad. Uh, so that's the limit as c goes to infinity, 144, or negative 144. We just put that negative 1 over uh, 3 plus c minus 1 over uh, 3, right? 3 plus 0. So it's also 1 over there. So I just make sure. Okay, so then... What happens as c goes to infinity is this thing is going to vanish because 1 divided by a giant number is going to be 0. So it's going to be negative 144 times negative 1 third, which is going to be 144 over 3. Okay, so that it does converge. Okay. Let h be the function defined by this. Find the value of the integral from here to here. Okay, so this one, why is this a BC question? Integral from 0 to 3 of x times f prime of x dx. We got to do integration by parts because I don't know how to combine these. So we're going to do u is equal to x and our dv is going to be f prime of x dx. So the antiderivative will be f of x and the du will be dx. And so then this will be the integral of uv, which is SF, f, x f of x minus the integral of v du, f of x dx. And we can put this from 0 to 3. And this side has to go from 0 to 3, like you plug it in and you subtract. All right, so the integral from 0 to 3, this part we know is 10. So then this is, we just plug in, for this guy, it's going to be 3 times f of 3 minus 0 times f of 0 minus this guy right here, which is 10. So that part is 0. What is f of 3? f of 3, they told you, f of 3 is 2. So this is going to be 3 times 2 minus 10 which is going to be 6 minus uh, 10, which is negative 4. 
Okay, and there's that's that one.